Chapter 1. Introduction. Modesty in Apparel Becoming to Women, in Memory of the Introduction of Sin into the World through a Woman. If there dwelt upon earth a faith as great as is the reward of faith which is expected in the heavens, no one of you at all, best beloved sisters, from the time that she had first known the Lord, and learned the truth concerning her own, that is, woman's, condition, would have desired too gladsome, not to say too ostentatious, a style of dress, so as not rather to go about in humble garb, and rather to affect meanness of appearance, walking about as eve mourning and repentant, in order that by every garb of penitence she might the more fully expiate that which she derives from Eve, the ignominy, I mean, of the first sin, and the odium attaching to her as the cause of human perdition. In pains and in anxieties do you bear children woman, and toward your husband is your inclination, and he lords it over you. And do you not know that you are each an Eve? The sentence of God on this sex of yours lives in this age, the guilt must of necessity live too. You are the devil's gateway. You are the unsealer of that, forbidden, tree. You are the first deserter of the divine law. You are she who persuaded him whom the devil was not valiant enough to attack. You destroyed so easily God's image, man. On account of your desert, that is, death, even the Son of God had to die. And do you think about adorning yourself over and above your tunics of skins? Come, now, if from the beginning of the world the Milesians sheared sheep, and the Syrians spun trees, and the Tyrians dyed, and the Phrygians embroidered with the needle, and the Babylonians with the loom, and pearls gleamed, and onyx stones flashed, if gold itself also had already issued, with the cupidity which accompanies it, from the ground, if the mirror, too, already had license to lie so largely, Eve, expelled from paradise, Eve already dead, would also have coveted these things, I imagine. No more, then, ought she now to crave, or be acquainted with if she desires to live again, what, when she was living, she had neither had nor known. Accordingly these things are all the baggage of woman in her condemned and dead state, instituted as if to swell the pomp of her funeral. If you enjoyed this talk, consider subscribing to this channel and click on the notification bell, then you will know when new content is added to this playlist. Thank you for listening, and have a blessed day.